Hey makers, are you losing thousands of operations? If yes, this is a must watch for you. When I started with Make, formerly Integromat, I ignored the fundamentals and I just set up my scenario. What happened? It cost me losing 10,000 operation in just 4 days. I was furious like I was not sure what happened and where my scenarios or my operations are gone. Even though I was not executing any scenario as such, very minimal execution or scenario run. Then I started learning Make fundamentals and I realized I misconfigured couple of my scenarios. So today in this video, I'm going to share you how you can configure your scenario in a right way, use couple of basic tips and trick choose right triggers to save operation to optimize on your cost using make so let's jump into the video let's see what all those fundamentals and tips tricks are so when we start using make we generally go for a free plan so every account will be created with a free plan straight forward now the free plan will have 15 minutes execution lag so it will be like time interval between the two operations or two execution is 15 minutes and as soon as we upgrade to any of the plan it get reduced to one minute now people like just get excited they see okay i can process my scenarios in almost real time or one minute lag in this setup their scenario using one minute time interval even though it's required or not required so i'm going to give you a real life example i set up this google sheet to uh, some operations or to some process i set up this google sheet with some process and here you can see in a day it consumed 1371 operations however I only process just 10 to 20 execution, 10 to 20 new lines. That's it. But I was like completely curious where my thousand operation gone. So here you can see the trigger was scheduled at check every minute. And this is a watch module. So whenever we set up a watch module, there are two types of trigger instant and scheduled. So this is a scheduled trigger. And here it is set up watch every minute. So even if your Google sheet will have any new update or no, irrespective of that it will consume one operation every minute to check whether there is any update in google sheet it may not require at all right so what happened in my history i can see only these many executions happened whereas if i go into history there is no sign of those unused or the check run operations so here it is on the top right hand side if you click on turn on show check run it will show you it was keep on running every one single minute and consuming one operations so in a day, you know, right? 24 hours are there each. Uh, so there's 24 hours in a day, 60 minutes. This will minimum consume 1,440 operations without doing anything. Even if run the scenario, then surely it can uh, take even more operations. But this is the bare minimum cost to run the scenario every day. So we can skip or ignore this by scheduling the right schedule trigger by configuring this schedule trigger in the right way. So we can make it like every 15 minutes, every one hour, two hour. Even there are advanced scheduling options available. So you can even uh, schedule in a better way. So a specific time zone or maybe specific days or month or something else, right? So always configure your scenario in a right way. The schedule trigger should be scheduled at the right frequency wherever you want the updates. The second big mistake I did is misconfiguring one instant trigger. So this is another good example from Google Sheet itself. It can be like with any other module. So what I did here is you can see this is a watch watch change trigger and this is an instant trigger. So whenever any change will happen in Google Sheet, it will instantly trigger the scenario. Now, when I set up this watch change trigger, like I had to configure this webhook from copying here to my Google Sheet. And if you'll go and see here, this webhook will trigger on each and every small change happens on my Google Sheet whether it's required or not required even though if i go and change anywhere in this cell or that cell or somewhere else it doesn't care right it simply triggers the scenario and every trigger every incoming webhook will consume one operation so again i'll be keep on losing operations without even knowing like my google sheet changes are impacting so ideally i should follow this as a scheduled trigger one or i can define it to one single column itself so which column I want to see the changes and that can be done using Google script. So we can define or we can write a Google script and this webhook will trigger only when any changes will happen on that particular column, cell or row. So that can help you to again reduce n number of operations you are wasting while triggering Google watch changes. This can happen with any other module, even Monday. So Monday have like watch board changes. If you don't specify a column or a field, it will keep on watching all the changes will keep on triggering your scenario. The third important thing is putting the right filters at the right place. So what happened at most time when people do their scenario, like for example, this scenario itself, it starts from Google Sheet, it set a variable, it set second variable, 
and then there is a router and multiple options or multiple paths now even if this scenario doesn't follow any of these condition what happen it will run up till this level of one operation two three operation and then it will check for any of the conditions fulfilled or not ideally this filter should have been put in at this place itself so let's say for example if i'm getting an input which is not uh, doesn't fulfill the scenario requirement itself there is no change from a particular column which i'm looking for or no value it contains then i should put a filter here itself so let me give you an example here you can see there are so many success run in my uh, entire history 333 actually this scenario is of total six steps so i'll quickly show you if there is a success run then it will follow the entire path so google sheet set variable one two and all the slack will be updated however even if it doesn't fulfill any condition this is going to consume minimum three operations each run so what changes set variable one set variable two and then it will qualify for any filters so ideally you should put a filter here itself whether it qualifies for any of the path or not at all so putting the filters at right place is very important so these are three basics which i would like to show now apart from this like you'll have to choose any of your triggers very carefully so let's say for example let's take a example of facebook module so many people are using make for a facebook lead watch so let's say take this example now there are two triggers available in facebook lead module one is called new lead instant and asset and second is watch lead both will take you or get the data of new lead however this is an instant trigger so whenever a new lead comes in this will do the entire process of scenario in real time in second case watch lead is something uh, you can schedule it and it will run at a predefined frequency at a predefined interval and it will get all the leads collectively when the scenario will run next time right now if you are getting so many leads like a pool of every hour you are getting 100 leads so you should not set it up as an instant trigger but because this will consume 100 operation to just trigger the scenario whereas if you use watch list and that timing doesn't matter to you like you process every hour then you can just use watch lead trigger and in that case it will just consume one operation to get all 100 results together so you can say 99 operations just by changing the module itself so i would recommend using these basic things in next video we'll be talking about some more advanced operation strategies or let's say operation optimization strategies where we'll show you or demonstrate couple of really cool apps that can help you to minimize operation drastically so for example if you want to update a google sheet there are bulk update options available or bulk insert option available through which without consuming one operation for each line you can just put one single run and on one operation you can update thousand line into google sheet or you can insert new thousand lines into google sheet so that's part of the next video keep watching this entire series we will be going to give you so many valuable content which can help you to optimize your scenarios reduce the number of operations and be more effective automators thank you very much